Um, yeah, I imagine they might have got a set or two in Smash yeah, 4, would, just oh, because yeah, it's attending Warcraft. the same yeah. locals, like, but in, in all the same areas. areas. But in all, yeah, I'm really not Because they're both on sure. and off with attendance, you know, like, till they... Recently, it's actually been coming to a lot, but Sinji's, like, you know, here and oh, there. he oh. might be dead here. I, I was scared, but Sinji does not like to push his advantage very hard, just wants to get back on stage and get those freaks going, as yeah. per usual. Well, he had committed to the jump already, so I think he was just like, let me not get hit by Falco side B and die for no reason. He would have lived. Uh, like 25, you think he would have died to side B? It's I think he lived. I think he lived. Hard call. That's like wolf killing right there. Falco's definitely not that strong. But uh, Pac-Man is definitely tall enough to go on Falco's wild ride. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, you don't need, there's no height requirement for Falco's wild ride. No, man. no, there is, bro. Pichu uh, will not get hit by f tilt. Yeah, but you can still get hit by some you really You will, yes, of course. Like some the lands. landing there? Yeah, landing there is spooky, bro. Like until off. they is spacing those really well. So. Excellent. And fair, dude. Fair is crazy in this game. The mix-up you get, uh, like just timing. The, the landing hitbox, it makes it so scary because it's so hard to parry, so yeah. it's, it makes it pretty much safe. Because you gotta respect this so much. Oh, wow. Nice. That was yeah, that, that move cheated. Up till that move block. cheated. <laughs> yeah. You that cannot jump. Yeah. Especially because if you jump, and even if you don't get clipped like that, you just jumped above Falco. You're now in prime up tilt position. Yeah, exactly. It's like, what do you do? Uh, he's playing the conditioning game really well so far, and uh, just honestly, he's getting so many good reads on Pac-Man's rising aerials. This floaty character, if you're not drifting back preemptively, you're not going to get away from Falco. Yeah, like, it's just not happening. He's got some good. Oh, what happens? That was fun. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful movement sequence to get yeah, back. Until they came out on top, it was definitely. It was weird. Okay, just jumps around him. That was really weird. The shine? Okay. Nice. Keeping a lot of hitboxes in front of him, realizing that Sinji is catching him shielding a lot. And looking for this back air at the ledge. Not going to find it. Falco's goes back air. Um, well, it's not as fast as it was in Smash 4. Ooh. Although the stock is even, I feel Tilde is playing on level 3 in a sense right now. Very there are so many positions where it seems like he just has way more of a read on Sinji than Sinji has right now. Yeah, but Sinji usually starts his strategies, um, I would say they don't vary from player to player too much. He definitely has his way, his, his kind of chart of going yeah. through the game. He's very consistent. So the way he plays just doesn't involve like having a read on the player, but the spike from Tilde to take that first stock with a statement. Yeah, this is going to be important though. He's going to need to hold on to this versus Pac-Man because you want that he doesn't. Credit. Yeah. It's just good to play against Pac-Man with a really considerable lead. It's special to me in all games it. in general, obviously, but it is so strong in this game to yeah. be in front. Uh, it's so hard to approach. Sitting in shield or just being able to dash back is so much more comfortable than having to find the way in. Yeah. Especially when you're Pac-Man, who relies entirely on just being able to sit back. Yeah, and force you into him, and we're back to even now. So, uh, speaking definitely. of sitting back, catches him doing uh, approaching laser, approaching short hop laser. Just a little bit questionable. Puts him in the uh, he is a melee time player. event. He does play melee top, so <laughs> might carry over. Might forget for yep. a split second. You know, I don't know how, but uh oh, Sinji finally breaking out uh, the Galaga thing. Yeah, he definitely hasn't stuff. been using it like all game. Yeah, and catching Tilde being a little bit too reliable on reflector. That was. So really bad. That was actually terrible by yeah. Tilde. It felt like he definitely turned off his brain for yeah. a solid five seconds. You really got to do against Pac Man. Yeah, you just can't waste a moment for some Pac Man. Okay. You get caught in a lot of scenarios for big damage. And, like, it doesn't seem like it, but when he puts together a Galaga combo with a fair and a back air, that's pretty five damage. Yeah. That's like, Palu damage yeah. right there, which is not negligible. Yeah. And then he gets. Uh, Usually gets like a read on your disadvantage state after, so you end up taking 80 against Pac-Man sometimes. Yep. And, and then it's like, oh, he's a good character. <laughs> nah, see you that can't coming do that, from Sinji right now, just really playing the ledge properly, getting good reads on Tilde. Oh, bro, Sinji's a stoner. What a That's genius. all I have to that was say, genius. bro. He just <laughs> he got out of here, dude. <laughs> I don't know. What a genius. Whoa, there. Oh. oh, gets a good edge guard sequence, and he's Tilde gonna is not going to be able to recover. He is though. Oh. He spikes him. Oh. He goes to down air and back. I don't even think the down there would have killed. I think that's supposed to be an tilt. That's cool. All right, good use of he the wants it, jab there. Yeah, I think it might have been it. He wants the cheese, bro. He's trying to end this stock right now. We're laddering. Playing We're playing careful. Mario. Very nice. Doesn't overcommit. Until they suddenly right back that's in this game. Good. You got to be scared if you're Pac-Man. Oh my god, that up is so close to just clipping him to the end of the stock. Yeah, until they really minding his spacing and also just keeping enough pressure on the Sinji can't pull anything better than Cherry. Ooh. Honestly, wow, every yeah, time he's, he's so something scared of his jumping. Cherry, he's getting hit really, really hard. Or he's stopping just a little bit earlier before he gets to the really juicy fruits. Yep. Juicy fruits. 
And then nice. pressure almost back dies air. to that back air across the stage. That move is so scary in these situations. This comeback looking incredible. If he can put it together, gets the landing there into the grab. What's wow. happening? Get that? Good DI from Sinji. And it's so scary. Pretty much all of Taco's aerials at the ledge are going to start killing now, including that landing fair. It might be able to sneak out of stock. He's going to get the grab, dodges the laser, will not be killing. Yeah, he's looking for that laser kill, but I think it's the condition oh. for the back throw. I believe the back throw DI to miss laser is different from the up throw DI. Dude, it, this looks so nice. much. playing it safe, but he the does grab. get grabbed for He's going to live, though. No pummel from Sinji. That is a big throw on him. Who oh! Bro. I. You know what? There's a chance that even if he went down, he died to the Hydra pushing off. I'm not sure of the exact positioning. I guess we'll see it here. Good on Sinji covering a lot of options. Bet on him not pummeling there. But look at the Hydrant. Uh, We're going to see this up beat. Squirts the first water. It would have been close. It might have happened. Yeah. It might have killed him, Very the second possible. water. But we're not going to get to find out. That was really mental from Sinji, though. Just really good micro spacing. Like, he, as soon as he realized he was committing to the straight down angle, he got out of the way. He didn't yeah. want to trade with it. No, because no they could have. Just let me Who confirm the kill here. space myself properly. That was great stuff coming from Sinji. And honestly, both of them have been consistently mixing each other up in terms of the RPS game. So I could see this going either way for game two. Yeah, I also think it's important that Tilde takes a bit of an early lead again because it really shaped his early game plan and let him like, even though he fell a little bit behind in stock two, he had a bit of that nutty comeback in him. But if you have to make that crazy comeback on three stocks yeah. as opposed to one, it is, it is such a, it's hard to do. Especially against good players, like you don't get to do that against Sinji. Yeah, you really he's not gonna give you the time, he's mm -hmm. gonna choke you out. Yeah, you might just run out of time. You literally might run out of time. Yep. Uh unsafe fares, just needs to be a little bit safer there. But he is trying to mix it up. I just want to see a little bit more tomahawk. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's gonna find something, but nothing big. That's nice. kinda good. unfortunate. That was a really sick up angle fair. Up angle F tilt, just uh, uh nice yeah, shot. so smart. He does that a lot actually. We saw him do last game because he's gonna oh, double, double dip, oh. not gonna find it. Yeah, okay. I don't Ooh. think he had enough hit stun there on the first downer. But very but close to time. Little... Ooh, I thought he was gonna run off a downer, bro. If, I think if he did, oh, we're gonna get this bear. Oh. He's gonna kill it. Will. He, got put he got put in the quick time event. He didn't that hit is. the right button, bro. That is. He didn't hit the right button. He had that to was watch the strength the of Falco sequence. right there, dude. Yeah. It's like, you ever play like the Naruto Ninja Storm games where you gotta I have, press but not a button a lot. at the right yeah, time, yeah. real quick, uh, during the sequence? Okay, That's what Falco back here is like. <laughs> it's like, did you explode? Boom! Here's you flying into Look the mountain. Oh, that drag down would have been the craziest thing. Yeah. He was one hit off, though. Yeah. Sinji might SDI a little bit. I think he needed a little bit more on that. The Sinji SDI? Good on Sinji if he was SDIing. Honestly, I would hope Sinji SDI. Yeah, he's good, right? Ooh, that fair is gonna clip him. He does reach yeah. Falco. Oh, this is a re grab. He's gonna get the dare on him. Oh, nice. the stage spike! No is tech. that going to close it out? Is he going to be an SD? Kills himself. Unfortunate. Wow. That's okay, though. Still has a Til fatty Till they thought, I think he thought the trap loom was still going to be there, and he remembered, like, halfway through... Uh-oh. No jump. He oh, steps on him. Oh, that was dirty, bro. He's going to get to recover again. Is Sinji going to complete the edge guard? No, he will not. He's going to kill him. He missed it. He missed the trampoline. Yo, he wanted to kill him. Oh, my God. Stop. God, I feel so bad. <laughs> I know exactly like what he wanted, and literally, yeah, trampoline wasn't it. in. Like, it wasn't visible, so he missed it. I mean, that's what that's all. That's smart by Sinji, though. Like, I don't blame that. Like, he's in the blast zone when he does it. You know? Yeah. It's yeah. Ki it's kind of risky. Like, Keep not really when you know what you're doing. Yeah. But yeah. you could die. I definitely feel like that's something he's conscious of. I agree with you on that. Like, going for that up smash, not quite. Oh, he definitely had the the back air at some point there. This game is so thrown. Nice. Good, what an okay. up smash. We're right? even. If. If there's yeah, anything good in the world, till they so win. That move still works on him. Uh oh. Does he have a jump? Uh, he's gonna recover to the other side of the map. Yeah, honestly, he is, but like he just wanted to keep it as safe as possible. Yeah, Pac-Man isn't so fast smart, enough to like, run across the map there. You know, yeah. he'd have to dash attack to even catch. Feels like some Shoyo James stuff. Oh, gets the weak hit, so he is gonna survive. Ops for the low. Up B Sinji, oh, you madman. Sinji looking for the untackable but he loops there, it, bro. Who loops that? Good job coming back. Sinji reading the jump from ledge isn't going to find it. And we're in the mix. Psych, we're out of the mix. Yeah, he absolutely. dropped it on the way into the blender. And Tilde really finding a lot of the grabs he was looking for the first game. And honestly, in a better Yo. position in terms Yo. of damage. And he's. Yo! Oh, he's Yo! The Yo! Oh. Yo! What was that mix? That was like 80 damage oh. of pure, unadulterated Falco oh. mix. You're not allowed to do that, Tilde. That was so insane. If he loses this game now, there is nothing good left in life. Oh my god, the ledge set up with the bell. Right? He's going to F smash gonna him. Die. Wow, Bro, that was a great Sinji. setup. And he also waited on it, too, for the um, launch off the Paralyze. Very smart. The bell. That is a classic Very good. Sinji setup in this game. Yeah, yeah. He's and just you can just tell Tilde has, hasn't seen it before, and he's like, maybe if I... 
And I think in the back of the head he knew holding on was wrong, but he yeah. didn't know what to do and he froze up is what it looks like to me. Yeah. So you remember my analogy about a quick time event, how like the person defending is the person in the quick time event? I've changed my mind. It's actually Falco. Falco? Right? And if he hits the right button <laughs> enough times, he's just going to extend the quick time event until he wins. He's if either going to win or he's going to guard you. If Falco drops the quick time event, does it cut to that scene from the Spider-Man video game with like <laughs> Wednesday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, ah, right? Could you imagine? You missed oh the back God. air and Taco lands on the floor and just dies. <laughs> Sock over. Thank God.